Yo, 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 what's up, CNT? It's your boy Crazy Legs, and welcome back right here on CNT 3 for season 2 of Cravings. Yes, your TV show where we make all your favorite street food. But you know what it is? Christmas time! So we're making all your favorite Christmas dishes, local Trini Christmas dishes, right here with the best chefs in TNT. I can cook, you probably can't cook, but I know I can do it some lessons and I'm learning, so I hope you're learning too. So let me find out which chef we have with us today and what it is we're making on this Christmas menu. Hi everyone, Mikey again from Cutters Express. Last time we made some delicious, succulent, moist turkey and some delicious Christmas rice. I'll be back here again with some hard hitting recipes with our boy Crazy Legs. Let's go! And once again, people, right here for season two, mash up the place. So let's make some noise to my boy, Mike! Yo! Cutters Express, everyone. So, Mike goes everything cool, give him a little touch there, yeah. bam. As you all can see, as usual, social distancing, anything. Right? So, Mike goes, last time, Christmas rice. I feel like it was Christmas, mm, right in November. And the holy oh, turkey boy. Turkey was moist. Like a, like a fence beef and that. So, Mike, it is with hard, it is with wet. What it is, we're cooking today. Well, today we're going to try something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Not so seasonal, yet many do it for the Christmas time. Mm -hmm. Right? We're going to do a stew oxtail. Mm -hmm. Right? And we're going to do a veggie lasagna, vegetable lasagna to go with that. Mm -hmm. And we do a pina colada poncha crepe. What? Mike, is that how you cook for people who might you on Christmas? Wow! Well, this is where we, you know where we're going. Everybody knows where we're going for, like, for Christmas. All right, people, so that's the menu. So, as you all know, it's all the stuff. We have wonderful sponsors, as usual. And standards is always with us, giving us the appliances, making sure that we can make all these wonderful dishes. Without them, we can't do nothing. Then our friends at Caribbean Flavors, look at all these ingredients we use from them. With all these ingredients, the food will never taste as the way it should be. And our friends of Edward B.B. Harry, the champion brand, baking powder and the champion chow mix. And garden foods with your fresh produce you will not believe in our past. Try it out, you'll see it for yourself. And we have the English cheese, which I believe we're using to top our lasagna. Yep. Ay, ay, ay. Well, let's try that out. And we're also using the butter from President's Butter. And we're also using the sunflower in our dishes today. And once again, we have along the lines of who are giving us this? Carnation, man. We are using carnation for the punch. Of course. Most definitely. And what kind of punch are you making? Pina Clara. Ah, Nestle, carnation. And once again, School of Practical Accounting because I'm learning to cook. So you are learning to cook also. And remember, School of Practical Accounting, online learning, make easy, simple for you to get internationally certified. Check them out. Right? Mike, ingredients. We have everything. Wash your hands. And let me come back. Welcome back everyone, we are here with Mike. First time here, Mike was over here, was in season one, but he come back in season two and we made our awesome turkey, which was juicy, and we made some Christmas rice. But today, today we're making oxtail and lasagna. Right, Mike, so talk to me. I see that we have the oxtail, which we pre-seasoned, right? Okay. So which season did we use to make this wonderful oxtail? Right, the season we used was some green season, mm -hmm. some bandana, some thyme, some ginger, Garlic, pimento, saife, Caribbean flavors, salt, and black pepper. Nice. So everything is, as you all can see inside here, really, really marinating. We left it inside here a little while. We wanted to marinate it a bit now, you know, to make it all juicy and succulent here. So, my course, everything is inside here. So, I see that we need a pressure cooker for this. Yep. So if you don't have a pressure cooker, so no. normally, normally what happens, you could use a normal pot. Mm -hmm. It just it will take a lot longer, mm. right? Normally, what people could also do is we could brown the meat in the pot mm. and then put it in the pressure cooker. All right. But we're going straight in the pressure cooker, so let's waste the wash. Let's waste the wash. We're saving some time, right? So what are you starting to do here? Talk to me. Right. You start off with some oil. Oil. Nice. So we start up before the high day. Right. Nice. All right, so the oil is inside there. Talk to me again. Right, you put some brown sugar now. Brown sugar. They were a little less than me, mm -hmm. so put about a half. A 
half spoon there, or cooking spoon, I'll use about one. Nice. And a little bit. So this is look this look like enough for me here. Yeah. Nice. Right. Right. So now we are waiting for the pot heat up a little more mm -hmm. and the sugar start to caramelize. Mm. Right, so this is the color we're looking for here. Mm -hmm. We get the color, right? Right. Yeah. At this point, we want to add something a little special for this dish. Which is? Ruku. Ruku. For anybody who doesn't know, Ruku comes from the Achito, I hope I pronounced that correct, Achito tree, the fruit from it, we take the seeds and we extract and get this. Mm -hmm. Right, what this does, gives a very deep flavor for your stews mm. and gives a beautiful color, mm. right? Um, you could normally use this in place of the sugar sometimes, like those who are sugar sensitive, diabetic, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. So instead of the sugar, we could use this. Nice. Right? There you go. Add in your cool, let me add in your cool. And mix. Mix. Just before we lock them down, you're gonna put some coconut milk. Coconut milk. Right, so now that you browned our meat, you added the ruku, you added the bay leaf, you added the coconut milk, time to lock down. Lock it down. Lock it down. We're coming back right now, ox deal inside it. So my course, the oxtail pressure in here. We now put up the water for the lasagna. So it's boiling. Right. But we're working too hard, bro. So we all the way Can I make something to drink now, but am I? My pressure is in here. Wait, 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 we can do something. Let me see what I can do. We can do something, do yeah. Let me try a little peanut color. I want something we have to make my mother proud and give she five children. But you think for the back? Think for the back and front. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about what we're doing. Let me try our um, pina colada poncha crepe. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with that. You know, it have alcohol? Oh, of course. Let me go. Let me pump. Right, right. so let me, let me see what's going on here. The punch. Mm -hmm. So you started with the carnation. Mmm, how sponsor here. Evaporated milk. Hold on. Wait, turn the milk to use your other hand. Yeah. Alright. Carnation. I didn't really come through for the season two, man. Just see it now, though, because it wasn't probably right. here. We don't have motivation. So you need two eggs? Two. Mm. <laughs> Protein. Condensed milk. It's thick, boy. Yeah, boy. Mm. Thick like cold, dal. Like mud. Wait, wait, wait. Some pine? Pine apples. Oh, they can't resist this one. Alright, and last but not least, some coconut milk. They can hear these things inside here. Yeah? And lastly, we do quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon, ground from cinnamon. Caribbean flavors. Nice. Are you working on that, Mike? You do that thing now. Do you want to get some ice cream? Oh, the Russia is toasty, boy. Yeah, boy. Toasty. You hear me now? Talk to me. You forget the most important part. No, I, I wait in fear because I see it in the corner. They're hiding. Oh, you want to know? Nah, I'm Russian here. You're doing your thing too. You want to tell the waiters, though? Tell them more now. Tell them more now. The rum. Oh, God. The alcohol. The affluence of alcohol.
temperature. Be gentle. Be gentle with her. All right, my, my course boy. So this is the Pina Colada Punch de la Creme. You ever made this before? Never. Is this the first time? First time. So we, all right. So we have a lot of nice ingredients inside here. Yeah? So we're working hard. Ox steel, pressure in there, and well, lasagna getting prepped. But well, let me see what's going on here. Woo! Woo! Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're not just doing that, it's serious, it's pumping. Yo, we're going on. You take a sip, jump into the lasagna, and relax yourself. All right, my course. Punch. Ox still almost done. Water boiling. I tell you, we are putting lasagna inside you now. Champion only being here too, boy. Champion is like, hey, boil me one time. <laughs> So right then, you gotta boil this on? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. What if you say so? I tell you this, right? You put that water boiling in there. All right. So here, man. Huh? I tell you, we gotta boil it, right? But how is that to boil this? Why are you gonna leave this down? This thing can't wait. Right, so you bring your pot to a boil. Boil it. Boil it, your pot is boiling. Yeah, dog. Pause, this water is boiling hot. Right? Always. Most important when cooking with pasta. Salt, salt your food. Your pasta. Oh, that too. When I say salt, salt, salt. Salt. Don't afraid it. There's a handful of salt here for this? A handful. What two handful? Two handful. You alright? <laughs> Tell me what it is after now. So it's just head first. Head first. So it had, to, it had to sink on the water. Eventually, it will get soft and fall on. Hey, hey! Hey! I get through it. Right, and also to make sure it doesn't stick, mm -hmm. let's put in a little oil. In the water. In the water. How much oil you actually put in? For about two tablespoons. Then I want to stop it. One, two. <laughs> now I just check it. Two, two seconds. All right. Head. So pasta, done boil. Pasta, boil for seven to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm strained. Now we're doing two types of filling. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to do two fillings. Yeah. We're going to do one with our friends from Garden Foods. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to do a ricotta cheese mixture. We are also going to top the lasagna with a cheese from English cheese. Okay, nice. Right. So let's go. So let's go. So what did I do first? Put your pot on high. 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 Add some oil. What kind of oil? Any kind. Vegetable oil. Oh, how much, how much is it? What's your name? Hello. Hello. Right. Right, what's next? Right. So you're gonna add some garlic. Garlic. I'll take some of your garlic there. Yeah. Take care. Nice. You're gonna put in the garlic. Garlic and oil is always go first, boy. All the time. Aromatics. Right, well, let's answer the bubble. Pack, 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 pack. Right. Color changing already. Nice. So you we are using the so frito medley, mm -hmm. right? They're gonna add that one first. Right from Garden Foods, and I believe this is my one here already. I don't take out my ones here already. Yeah. So put the whole thing on. You just have your one as well as the vegetable medley from Garden Foods. All right. So put the whole thing. You can put the whole thing. Nice. We're also going to add some bygan. Bygan. Bygan, melangin, eggplant, however you call what? it. What? The bygan choker? Right, because you're just going to add a little more body to your fillet. So how much, how much bygan is that? One bygan. All right, so as you all can see, we have our bygan pre-cut. 
So this oh, this whole all is by gun. Whole by gun. Whole by gun. But the whole by gun. The whole by gun. Very well. Right. We also want to use some of the all-purpose season mm -hmm. from Caribbean flavors. Put in about a tablespoon. All right. We're also going to use some marinara sauce. Mm -hmm. So how much is how much is some? Whole bottle. <laughs> whole bottle. You're going to use some. The whole Lay it bottle. On. Lay it <laughs> and mix. <laughs> By the time you preheat our oven, the three fifty. Three fifty. Yeah. Three fifty. Preheat in oven one time. Leg off. So we had to do you now. Right, so you turn off the heat as soon as it gets thick. Turn off the heat or turn off? Turn off. Alright, so the heat is off. And set aside. Set it aside. Let it cool. Alright, the next mixture we're going to make will be with the ricotta cheese. Right, so ricotta cheese time, you say, my ricotta course? Ricotta cheese, and we added one egg to it. One egg. Let's not fail this process. Hey, hey. Right, and you mix. Whip, whip. Right, so what you're gonna do now, mm -hmm. you're gonna start the layers. But before that, you're gonna put a little bit of our vegetable filling. All right. On the bottom. On the bottom? So that way it doesn't stick. All right. Because you don't grease the pan through the lasagna. How much do you put? Just a, just a, a little, eh? Just a dab. Just a dab. And then spread it out. Spread it out. Right. Nice. Right. So now we're going to start the layers. First layers. layer. Curry layers. Oh. So I've never done this before, Mike. Tell me what to do. Put it lengthways first. Wait, this is the lengthways, eh? Right, we'll put about four pieces. So all it all it oblong and into the corners in a nice small thing, right? That's right. Nice. So it's just two alone layers in units, right? Yeah. Okay, understand. Right? 100. You put in the second layer. Second layer coming in. So the second layer goes the same way? No, you're flattening it so you put in the other way now. Even if it's outside? Even if it's outside. Right, next up, what do you need now? Right, now you put in the right? ricotta. Ricotta. How much ricotta we're we putting? Same full layer. Thick layer? Thick. So this is one layer alone this is going in or two? One. So all this are used? Just dump this whole thing and spread it on us? Yeah. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. <laughs> Here's around the time. We're gonna put a little extra ingredient to spice it up a bit. Mm-hmm. Right? We're gonna take some basil. There's the leaves. Mm -hmm. Rip it up with your hand. And you sprinkle it. You sprinkle it. Sprinkle it. Nah, man. How much? How much leaves are anything around? About so four to five. Five. Okay, in that. How oh, fine is fine? All right, cool. Just tear it up with your hand. Yeah, my course. Right. So now we're gonna put another layer. And I believe this one gonna go the straight across. Way. Yeah. Yeah. The rest is gonna pass through. Right. Woo! Lovely. Woo! Now we're gonna put the rest of our filling. All right, my course. So right. Looking good here, boy. Right. Sexy, yeah? Yeah, boy. Right. To make it even more sexy. Mm. 
You're gonna add the English cheese now. Right. So as you all know, the English cheese right here is one of our sponsors. We greeted it earlier. This beautiful, wonderful texture. The chicken towel is our vibe. You're making your dishes and them popping. Right. You're also gonna add some mozzarella cheese. Mm-hmm. But a little stringiness so gonna come up. So Mike, it's all top top with all the ingredients. Right. Cheese, layers, sauces. What we have to do now? Right. So now we're gonna cover it with some foil. Cover it with some foil. Tuck in the edges. Tuck in the edges. So we give it breathing space so we just make it nice and... Look at a little breathing space on for the top. Fuck. We a little loose on top. So the cheese, when the cheese touches the thing, touches the foil. Right. Lovely, stick it in the oven. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna stick it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. My course. Lasagna is done. So here we're going on people. We did put it for 25 minutes. But we realized here we're going on. We had to put it for extra. What a little more. A little more because we wanted it to get a nice brown finish. So we yeah. put our next 20. Put our next 20 and it come out. Good. Ox still done for Mike. Let me start a plate. Let me check it out. Yeah. Mike was there, you have it. Ox tail lasagna. Well, we had the puncha creme earlier. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, we drink it out already, but then I vibe to my course. How we looking, dog? We looking, we looking good, innit? Looking good, yeah, looking good. And I mean, the oxtail color is what we looking for. Yeah, get on, color. Yeah, yeah. Get on, get on, get on, get on. Well, people, you can see the lasagna little thing into this side, like he drink punch chicken too. But this straight come off the oven, so he didn't get time to pull. Where's the terminology for that? Set. Set. Alright, yeah. <laughs> so you get out of set. Because it's hot, 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 hot. So my course is judgment time. I want to know if I pass the test. So I'm saying, so here we go. Pass this to my boy, my course. Yeah. yeah, man. When you know, man, you can think of me too. It is this thing here. Go for the lasagna first, and you yeah. got to know the oxtail is the other go for you see this, let me see if I follow the instructions good. I'm hot, but Jesus! But I see I don't listen. I'm too bad wrong to be. Fresh out of the pan. Well, well. Performance? Cheesy, boy. Well, oh, yeah, 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 you know. When you ask me how much cheese you want to put in it, I put only cheese in it. That cheese got sponsored, or? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so now it's oxtail time, bro. Let me see how your taste buds will feel about the combination about the oxtail and the lasagna. The lasagna, people, by the way, is veggie, so try it out. So. I'm going to pause that. Well, boy. Fall off the bone. Ox bone. Mm -hmm. Talk to me, I represent it. No way. No so Mike, here we go now, here we go now. Class me one time. Give me this cup. Let me see what's going on. I got a baker cake and I got five. I had to redeem myself by a car. That would hurt my soul, my dog boy. I want to know. I get serious. I think I'm cooking serious because of that. after that I get. <laughs> no. So I want to know. For the lasagna, how much I get dog? The lasagna? I definitely eat, boy. Woo! Oh, I would say that. Get I would say that. Out. I know if it is, if it is full. All right, I got ten in it. I tell you, all right, I got ten in it. All right, all right. And the oxtail, though. Oxtail? We gotta get our nine, boy. Ah! I'm talking about five. Gotta get our nine, nine, boy. Nine, nine. Hello, hello. All right, I'll right, take it up today. Eight for the lasagna, lasagna, and nine for my oxtail. But Mike, all I ask for this is because of you. So you the real boss man who really showed me this. So Mike, we want to thank you very much as usual for coming back on to season two of Cravings. And know yourself for season three. Well, you know Mike over here, the crazy man who will be making unique stuff, trying out everything and he making it happen. So Mike, thank you again, my brother. Thanks for having me, man. He's our boss. All you check him out on Facebook, Cutters Express, located in Shogunas, opposite Medford Gas Station. 
The food is the best in the central. Peanut colada poncha creme, vegetable lasagna, and oxtail was the menu. And I represent, so that means all you could do it too. Thank you all so much for joining us here on another episode of Craving Season 2 Christmas Edition. Don't worry yourself, you have a lot more on the menu for all your some new things, you know, like you try some crazy things inside here. But make sure and watch the next episode to know what it is. So big up with sponsors, Standards, for sure, for allowing us to use all your wonderful appliances. Without them, we can't make that possible. Then boom, shot a fire. Eh, talking to my people and them over here. Caribbean flavors. Caribbean flavors spicing up every single meal so far. We thank you all very much for that. And once again, garden foods. Fresh produce what, in this bag? You all should try it out and see for yourself. You will not believe it. Then we have today all the cheeses that we use, the butter. We want to big up the English cheese. Top it off nice. So let's see for yourself. All you know I wasn't lying. The cheese from English cheese is our boss. And we have the president butter and also sunflower butter. And then we have the champion chow mein. Yes, and they're baking powder champion chow mein. Always a champion with them. You know it's the best. Non-stick, great tasting. And carnation evaporating milk for supplying us with this wonderful milk to make my favorite punches. Punch la creme that we're making all the time that making the work of ours. And one of my sponsors who I dearly love so much, School of Practical Accounting, because I'm doing my master's here. So you can check them out online, study online, get internationally certified right here in TNT. It's your boy Crazy Legs. It's craving season two. Log on for the next episode, people. We're gone again.